Hello friends, today's topic is about erythropoietic protoporphyria and this porphyria that is most common in the children. Further you have to remember to another most common type of porphyria that is most common in acute variety that is acute intermittent porphyria. From the name that is acute, so most common acute that is AIP acute intermittent porphyria. One more most common in adult or sporadic variety of the porphyria that you have to remember PCT that is porphyria cutanea tarda. But at present we will going to discuss about that EPP that is erythropoietic protoporphyria. So for the heme synthesis total 8 different enzymes are needed and initially glycine and succinyl CoA is needed which is starting from the mitochondria. And from that glycine and succinyl CoA with the help of different enzyme up to protoporphyrinogen is formed. From the protoporphyrin with the help of PPG oxidase protoporphyrin will be formed. All these things will be occur normally. But what happened further one more enzyme is needed that is called ferrochelatase or the heme synthase and here not only that enzyme one more molecule that is iron molecule is needed so iron with the help of this ferrochelatase that will be added over this protoporphyrin and finally heme will be synthesized so you have to remember ferrochelatase or heme synthase but if that enzyme activity is not there or deficiency of that enzyme that is leading to the EPP that is erythropoietic protoporphyria. So it is one of the erythropoietic type of the porphyria. One more that already we have discussed that is CEP that is congenital erythropoietic porphyria that is CEP and short form of this erythropoietic protoporphyria that is EPP. Further in detail of this erythropoietic porphyria that is autosomal recessive type of the porphyria and it is most common in the children and enzyme deficiency that already we have seen that heme synthase or ferrochelatase. So erythropoietic are the both CEP and EPP. You can remember that both are the autosomal recessive variety. Further accumulation of this protoporphyrin that is starting from the bone marrow because it is erythropoietic variety which is predominantly found in the bone marrow. So this protoporphyrin level will be accumulated in the bone marrow and further it will be seen in the RBC. Further it can be seen in a blood capillaries or even in the skin. So this protoporphyrin will lead to the photosensitivity when particularly exposed to the sunlight. So when there is an exposure to the sunlight even for the smaller time that will lead to the skin lesion. Not only protoporphyrin as a feedback inhibition sometimes uroporphyrin and coproporphyrin are also seen as a accumulated. So this skin lesion and particularly in the form of burning and inflammatory sensation. So over the skin there is a burning sensation as well as sometimes that inflammation will be seen. So this UPCP means uroporphyrin, coproporphyrin porphyrin protoporphyrin that will be excited in urine and feces and urine color will be also changed. So the diagnostic method of this erythropoietic porphyria that is increase of free protoporphyrin level in the RBC and that is typically helpful for the diagnosis of erythropoietic porphyria. So RBC will further show red fluorescence because this RBC in that also protoporphyrin level is found to be higher. So late fluorescence is seen in the fluorescence microscopy and that can be also helpful for the diagnosis. So protoporphyrin have a sorate band of around 408 nanometer and they all are used for the diagnostic purpose. Iron deficiency because that ferrochelatase enzyme or the particular this enzyme need iron to add over the protoporphyrin and with the help of that iron that protoporphyrin is converted into the heme. But this iron deficiency or even lead or aluminium that also lead to the inhibition of the activity of this ferrochelatase and that can lead to the acquired variety of the erythropoietic protoporphyria. So heme synthase or ferrochelatase that will be inhibited by decreased level of iron, lead or aluminium that can also work as a poisonous substance and that can lead to the acquired erythropoietic porphyria and here anemia will be typically seen. So acquired variety of proto uh, porphyria that is generally seen along with the anemia. So beta carotene that can be used to protect from the sunlight or decrease this photosensitivity because they are work as a protective factor. So the one more thing or in, in, important information is that alpha alpha melanocyte that is alpha melanocyte and alpha melanocyte which is stimulating hormone has completed phase 3 trial for the treatment of this erythropoietic protoporphyria as well as X-link porphyria. This X-link porphyria that is particularly for the ALA synthase type 2 which is particularly found in the erythropoietic variety. So this particular 
treatment is some uh, in future will be there for the erythropoietic protoporphyria further in detail of this all these different porphyria that we will look as a summary so already i have discussed so many porphyria but at present we are discussing about this epp that is erythropoietic protoporphyria you have to remember that is autosomal recessive variety and him and him synthase or ferrochelates that is the name of the enzyme it is mostly seen as a cutaneous photosensitivity and most common in children that you have to remember further this starting from the first enzyme to the last enzyme that is ferrochelates that also we will look in a summary so ala synthase 2 that is also mostly for cutaneous photosensitivity just similar as that erythropoietic protoporphyria but this ala d ala dehydratase enzyme that is very rare variety but it is called dos porphyria aip that is most acute variety of the porphyria most common acute porphyria that is aip that is acute intermittent porphyria next that is cep that is due to the deficiency of cpg3 co-synthase enzyme further cpg to cpg decarboxylase and that is leading to the ect that is most common sporadic variety of the porphyria in the adult that is porphyria cutinea tarda further these two cpg oxidase and ppg oxidase both are hepatic variety along with these AIP and this CPG oxidase and PPG oxidase what, what is common both are represented with the both neuroviscral as well as cutaneous photosensitivity. So that's all about the particular erythropoietic porphyria as well as summary of the most important porphyrias. So if you remember from the sequence of this 8 enzyme then it will be easy to remember all these type of the porphyria.